We begin our night with the first news follow-up to that huge fire at Metallico Youngstown in Girard yesterday. That fire is completely out now, and the facility looked empty the last time a member of our team stopped by. Firefighters from five different counties responded, some driving an hour away to assist, pulling major resources away from their own communities. First News reporter Desiree Goslin has more on the logistics of fighting a massive fire like this one. More than one million gallons of water had to be trucked in to put out the fire at Metallico Youngstown. They had uh, a water system on site. Uh, it was independent to their facility. Typically, that is uh, perfect for their day-to-day -day operations. We needed a lot more water than we had access to the, in the immediate area. Three different fill stations supplied that water. The closest was at the Girard Water Pollution Control Facility, half a mile from Metallico. We have a municipal water system, so we don't have a tanker truck. Because of the magnitude of the fire, other departments shifted to cover additional area, usually outside of their territory. All of our resources were committed, so uh, for us, uh, we called for Weathersfield Township, who moved up to our station. They were able to cover uh, the city of Girard as well as, as their area. Another fire hydrant, just like this one, is directly across State Street from the industrial lot. Neither was used to put out the Metallico Youngstown fire. I'm told the fire hydrants near the site didn't have the capacity needed to help put out the fire. For the quantity of water uh, that we use, that would put a strain on, on any system. Those tankers were a, uh, a critical part of the operation yesterday. W without them, then, you know, we'd probably still be there today. Reporting in Gerard, Desiree Goslin, WKBN 27 First News. We reached out to the state fire marshal's investigator to learn if they have determined the cause of the fire. We have not yet heard back from them. We did hear back from the Ohio EPA about contamination from the site. They told us in part, the facility has an on-site retention pond along with oil and water separators. Additional contaminant measures were deployed to ensure firefighting water did not leave the property. Therefore, there was no known impact to the Mahoning River.